Good afternoon to you on this beautiful, beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank you for tuning in to MJ, WJ Global Radio. And you know what? You're listening to the Mona Moore Show. Ooh, it's a beautiful day, but it's a little warm outside. But I'm not going to complain because God is good. Do we have something awesome for you today? Just absolutely awesome. I am thrilled. I'm just elated. But just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. You know God is good. I, uh, kudos to my pastor. I love my pastor. Boss Payne gave a word this morning. It was just powerful, powerful. Do we know who we are? Do we know who Christ? He says before we can serve, before we can go out and represent, we need to know who Christ is. And who he is in our lives. So it was an awesome Head of Believers Conference this week. It was absolutely off the chain. I'm just excited. And, you know, he even asked the question. He says, uh, what are you eating? When he preach, he says, what are you eating? And then he asks, how does it taste? He's talking about the Word of God. Are we eating the Word of God? Are we digesting? Are we applying it? Are we implementing it in our life? I mean, it was just so, so powerful. However, yes, guys, it was. Now, let, me, let me say this. I have the opportunity to sing at a, a woman's. I, I have to say kudos to Janice. Wood, Wood, let, me, let me get her name because I don't want to mess it up. I, I just sent a shout out. It was uh, Angel Surviving Cancer Incorporated. And it was through Janice Butler Woodcock. It was absolutely awesome. It was just a life-changing event for me. You know, we, we, we complain about the petty things, bad hair day, uh, makeup, my, my, my fingernails, you know, my toe. But I, I have the opportunity to meet so many women who have survived the cancer and who is, is temporarily, that's why I say temporarily, are going through the phase of, of this cancer thing. They are the true soldiers. I mean, strong women who are believing God. So I just want to say, guys, continue to believe God for you women. Continue to believe God for greatness in your life. Now, I can get to my special gifts. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something a little different because uh, I'm going to let this young man tell you his name and then I'll take over. Uh, you want to say hi? Hello, Houston. How are you? This is your brother, your friend, the Minister of Music, and your praise and worship leader, Lamar Kennedy, also known as Lamar Worship. How are you doing? All right, I like that. Did you all hear that? Lamar Kennedy and Lamar Worship. We're going to dive into that in a few minutes. Lamar, you're looking well. You're looking well. You're looking well. How have you been doing? Thank you. I've been blessed and favored by the Lord. I praise God. I see that, that you're doing some awesome things. First, let me tell them, I have had the opportunity to work with you. This is a young man who truly loves God. And I, I just don't say that. He truly loves God. He, I mean, it is, he, it, it's shown in his life. It's shown in his walk. He has such a beautiful, beautiful spirit. I've had the opportunity to sing at your Christmas events. Why yes, twice? Yes, twice. Yes, and when I tell you, you don't play, do you? Well, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> so many of you guys know him by Lamar Kennedy. But now it's a Lamar worship, so we're going to talk about, but let me ask you first, who is Lamar Kennedy? Let's talk about that. All right. Well, Lamar Kennedy is a native Houstonian, mm -hmm. um, born and raised here on the southwest side of Houston. Mm -hmm. For a brother, a friend, a uh, son, um, a good person to know. He loves to laugh, loves to live, and loves to enjoy life. Amen. That's what it's about. So, but you kind of introduced me to uh, Lamar worship. Can we talk about Lamar yes, Worship? Yes, we sure can. Let's talk about it. All right, Lamar Worship is basically a name that I've given the Psalms inside of me. Mm -hmm. um, everybody has a worshiper inside of them. Mm -hmm. And so he's the David that's inside of me. He's the one who likes to write hymns and songs and pen ship to the Lord. Um, he's just a worshiper and a lover of the Lord. So um, it can stems back from when I was just growing up being a teenager. I used to call myself the worshiper. Mm. Um, me and my friends crack jokes, whatever, we gave ourselves nicknames. So I used to go by Lamar the Worshiper. Mm. As I got older, it became more a part of me because mm. my worship life began to go a little deeper. Mm. So I was like, hmm, that would be a nice name to go off of. I said, let me just talk Worshiper and just put Lamar Worship and that's what I do. That's simply what I do. Mm. It's just worship. And that's what it's about. You know, before we go on, let me, let me tell you guys, Lamar Worship isn't playing, you know, I, I walked in the studio, <laughs> you know, and I met his sister. Sister, you want to just say hi quickly? You know, because this is the last time, but you can say hello and whatever you want to say to me. Hello, hi, Houston. This is the sister, Ashley Ovenera. Hi. <laughs> That's his sister, beautiful sister. And then I walk in the studio, 
And I see this video. I'm like, what is going on? Crazy guy. What's your name, young lady? Latanya. Latanya. I mean, he is not playing guys. Crazy guy. And, and this is this is what it's about. But uh, Lamar, it, again, it's just great seeing you. Uh, I, I, like I said, I love your spirit. I love what you're doing. I can't wait for uh, the audience to hear your new music. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I like that worship of, I've had the opportunity to see you in worship. And there's a song saying, my worship is for real. Yes. Now, I don't know your heart, but I know what I feel. And when I see you worship, it is for real. And it's just a, it's a pure worship. You love to worship. Why is that? Well, worship, it's just, it's, it's very significant in the lives of believers, period. Yeah. Um, it's something about being in an atmosphere that is conducive for the glory of God. Oh, you know, something about when, the Bible says, you know, into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Something happens when you actually enter into the oh, presence yeah. of God. Oh, yeah. You know, you find strength, you find joy, you find yes. peace. Everything you need is in the presence of the Lord. And so I choose to live a life and live in that place of worship where I can withdraw everything that I need from the presence of God. Yeah. And you know, I'm learning there is a difference. There is a difference between worship and praise. Yes, See, you praise God because of what well, He's done. Praise yeah. God. Yes, we know. But we worship God because of who He is. Yes. There is a difference. Praise God. There is a difference. So I love to worship. I remember someone said the other day, said that the worship is taking over God. No, the praise, I, I, I can't remember. But nevertheless, but worship is, 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 is just, it takes you to the throne of God. Pray, the Bible says, let everything that have breath pray. So and when he said, let everything that have breath, a dog have breath, a cat, that's everything. Yes, but everybody cannot worship. Yes, In order to worship, you have to have a what? A relationship. relationship. Praise God. Let's talk about that relationship. Yes, ma'am. Well, relationship is very significant. It's like just getting to know somebody that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? How, how can you really, really relate to them if you don't spend time with them? In order for you to have a relationship with God, you have to build yourself, first of all, a prayer life. You have to build a prayer life where you're actually in communication and fellowship with God. In that prayer life, you know, when you're ministering to God, you're worshiping God, you're crying out to God, you're speaking to God, He's speaking back to you. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to have a relationship if there's no relation. You know, that's the root word. You have to have a relation. You know, that's why we are the sons of God, because we are in a relationship with our Father. I love it, I love it, I love it. You said we've got to pray, we've got to seek His faith. And so true. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to a commercial break and we'll come back and talk more to Lamar Marshall. Praise God.